Okay, in this video we're just going to interchange mixed numbers and improper fractions. So if we look at one and three quarters, again think about money, one dollar and three quarters of a dollar, we might know well that's a dollar and how many cents? That would be a dollar seventy-five. So as a decimal it's actually 1.75, right? And um, to turn that into an improper fraction, you just do the following. 4 times 1 plus 3, 4 multiplied by 1 plus 3, and all over 4. In other words, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 and 3 is 7, and we have 7 over 4, 7 quarters. So that should make sense in terms of money. If you had 7 quarters, how much money would that be? Well, four quarters is one dollar, isn't it? Plus three quarters. So that would be, you know, seven quarters, right? Or a dollar and three quarters. One plus three quarters, or one and three quarters. Okay? So two dollars and three dimes, or two and three tenths, is... Money-wise, it's two dollars thirty, isn't it? Two dollars thirty cent. But to turn that to an improper fraction, you do this: ten times two plus three. Ten times two plus three, right? What's that? All over ten, right? So that's twenty plus three, twenty-three tenths, or twenty-three dimes. Now, if you Two dollars and three dimes, that is the same thing as 23 dimes, right? So press pause and turn this to a, um, whoops, sorry, okay, press pause yeah, and turn this um, into an improper fraction. Okay, now I'll do it. You just go 3 times 3 plus 2 all over 3, which is 9 plus 2, 11 thirds. Okay? Now, um, turning these improper fractions back to mixed numbers, mixed numbers are holes and uh, fractions at the same time they're mixed, right? Whereas these are improper fractions because the tops are bigger than the bottoms top is bigger than the bottom, right? Okay, so you just go 4 into 7 goes how many times? 4 into 7. Well, 4 into 8 goes twice, but 4 into 7 only goes once, so this is 1, and the remainder would be 7 minus 4, by the way, 7 minus 4, 3, right? And so the improper fraction is 1, if the remainder is 3, so it's 1 and 3 quarters, the remainder over 4, okay? So that's how you get it. Right? Uh, 23 tenths, you go 10 into 23. 10 to 23 goes how many times? Well, 10 to 20 goes twice, right? And the remainder would be, again, 20, I'll say, whoops, 23 minus 20, you think, right? Which is, of course, 3. So the remainder is 3. So this is 2 and the remainder of 3 over 10. 2 and 3 tenths, same thing, right? And then now see if you can press pause and do this one. Press pause and do this one. Well, 3 into 11, 3 into 9 goes 3 times, so 3 into 11 goes 3 times, and the remainder is 11 minus 9, which is, remainder is 2, right? So it's 3 and 2 thirds. Hit. Oops. 